Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Roxanne. If you are new here, welcome. Have a seat, get comfy. I'm hoping this won't be a long video. I do have a few things I want to cover today, so I hope you enjoy it. And if you are not new here, welcome. I have missed you. And this is my first video of 2022. Okay, so um, I ended up purchasing something off of Beautylish. It finally arrived today. I was expecting this um, in between the Christmas holidays, but with the way things were, FedEx was likely overwhelmed with everything, so I did have to wait. As you can tell, I did do the base of my makeup. I just wanted to show you quickly what I used, and it's, of course, my doll 10 items. So, um... I use these three items, well, sorry, these three plus this one here, um, and then I use the over art sheathing uh, for the eyebrows, and those are the only things I've done. So TCE you can actually grab right now from Doll 10, um, but I'm going to say they have a new primer that just launched today. It is called the Smooth Assist Smooth Solution Pore Refining Primer Full Size, available now. Okay, so it is absolutely amazing stuff. I have not tried it. I have been wanting to, but... <sighs> Being broke really sucks some days. Okay, I know when I said that just as I bought this, but I've had I known that this was coming out, I wouldn't have bought this. Okay, so with that being said, the new TCE is called TCE Luminous Super Coverage Serum with Nicemine. Nice I had that said, said that right in my head, and I think I just totally butchered it. Anyway, you get a free luminous blending brush with code LUMINOUS. So if you use my link below, and you run over to their site, it tracks you, and if you uh, go to cash, check out, enter the code LUMINOUS to get that beautiful brush. It's like this one, but it has like the confetti. Um, I will definitely take it off your hands if you don't want it. <laughs> It is so pretty. This is my favorite brush. I actually have a backup of it, and I do use this, and this cleans super easy. Okay, so there is that. I do have some tall 10 items pulled out. I actually use the refining powder to set under my eyes, and um, we're going to start with this box. So um, it was, so this was $132. This was um, the middle bag box surprise bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, it did come with a free Wayne Goss lecture, lecture, came with a free luxury cream lipstick gift with purchase in the color pecan. Not sure pecan's gonna work for me. I also picked up Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick and Candy Ass. Now I can say you can kiss my candy ass lips. Oh, it's been an interesting day today. Okay, so let's open this up. Um, as you guys know, I actually live here in Ontario. Some of you may not know, may not know. And Doug Ford has decided that I need to homeschool my toddler. So, down below is my PO box. Feel free to send me wine, coupons for wine, gift cards for wine, because I'm going to need it. My mother, my, my mother-in-law had to talk me down today from a bridge. She's like, I'll take her. I love my mother-in-law. She is the absolute angel. Um, okay, so with that being said, let's get into this and forget that the world is just crumbling around us. I am so excited for this. I'm going to do uh, a thing on this later. Actually, let's... Let's watch this now. This might be a long video. Maybe I'll do it in two parts. Let's just have some fun. <sighs> Look how beautiful that is. Oh. This will be the lipstick I wear from here to eternity. Okay, so, whoa. Okay, so there's this. There's this. Okay, so this is the one that I got free. It's just a bit smaller. Okay, I don't know. Okay, and then there's this. There's two of them. Okay. 
I have seen some unboxings. So if you guys have seen unboxings and you're watching this, thank you so much. I do too, truly appreciate every single view that I get because they do matter at the end of the day. I am not being paid for any of this. These are all items that I have bought. And unless they are PR, um, assume that I bought them and I will tell you which ones are PR. Um, I did get some free things from Doll 10 in the past. Um, I am an ambassador for them, but I will tell you this right now. Their stuff is some of the best stuff that I've ever tried. Um, this is probably the most expensive stuff that I have tried. Excuse me. I do have like the, um, I have the Girlerin perfume and the foundation that I was sent through um, Influencer. I do have Pat McGrath stuff, but this is, I've never tried anything from Wayne Goss not a single thing except for one of the brushes I did get from Beautylish uh, Lucky. Okay so the first item I always just started opening up items so this one is the essential coal pencil in deep amethyst. Are you serious? Oh I'm excited. Okay okay Mr. Goss, let's see what this one is. This is the Essential Lip Pen in Vintage Pink. Lip Pencil Pen. Ooh, okay. Now, I will say that I kind of skipped through. I just wanted to see what the big things were in all the boxes. So, I had no idea that. What colors were coming, okay. Okay. This is oh another eye coal pencil. Okay. I only have two eyes, Wayne. Do I need any more? Obsidian. That one was on tight. Okay, so it's black. This is the lip pencil. This is the way it came in. Should build sturdier boxes. Did I say? Okay, so this is light nude. Looks very, very close to this one. I mean, do you see a difference? Mauve lip pencil. I think we need to have a talk about mauve because that does not look very mauvish. Okay, so there are the three eye pencils there. Uh, this is mauve, this is vintage pink, and this is the light nude. It's not a whole lot of difference, but there is some. Okay, the essential eye coal pencils are $18 each. All right, so 18 times five is $90, right? Is that what I just said? Yeah, $90. So these are $90 right here. So this bag is supposed to have a guaranteed of $200. Okay, so let's move on. So I have here the color Cashew. This is the cream lipstick. It's a deep, deep mouth mauve with a satin finish. But you called it Cashew. So this is valued at $36. Okay, so this is what he calls mauve. Okay, I will try it out. I bought it, might as well. Okay, so this is the High Shine Gloss in the color Hyantia, Hyant, there it is, there, super pretty, $29. So the colors are somewhat, you know, like they're very coordinated. That is a very sticky, so I will try it on and see what it looks like. But, okay, so this is Wayne Goss. The Radiance Boosting Face Palette in light gold. This is $61. Holy crap moly. Sixty-one. 
61 big dollars. So these are in Canadian dollars. So I'm apparently at 260. They certainly feel nice. That is actually kind of nice. Okay. The packaging is nice. I will, I will say that the the box is, you know, the outer packaging is nice. Uh, does it reek super luxurious? No, not to me. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Wayne. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so the next item is going to be an eye palette, and that's $77 Canadian. Plus 77, so that's 293 and this is supposed to be over $200 American, so I, I would imagine that it's putting it close to it. Okay. It is the one that everyone else got, which really makes me annoyed. Um, mystery boxes sh should have some variations in them. I mean, it could be a different palette. It could be a different lipstick. It could be a different lip liner. But these are all the exact same. There's no... The only reason you get this mystery box is because you really want to try the brand. And it is a good cheap way to try the brand. But there's no excitement about it. You see one, you see in the mall. So I'm not I was hoping for a different eye palette because, you know. Yes, Sasha. I get exactly what you mean. So it does have more shimmers in it than I noticed um, when I was first looking at this. Um, so let's. So there you go. So I'm going to go in with this middle color. Is there colors on the back of this? Oh, numbers. So I did my makeup beforehand because I figured there shouldn't be any fallout, right? I mean, a $77 palette, there should be no fallout, right? Come on, say it with me, people. So I'm going in with that black shade here. Um, number three, I think it is. Okay, so I am going to go in with this first color here, this nice, nice beige gold silver kind of color and let's just okay so I'm going to go in with that bottom silver color I just kind of want to okay so I'm going to go in with the deep amethyst here I'm going to throw in some mascara and then we'll move on to okay the so I Finished up the eyes. Um, I did do the lip liner. So let's go in. This is the bronzer. I'm not sure how to feel about this. <laughs> So I'm using the second shade. I just used this one. I'm using my really fancy brush that I got from a makeup subscription box here. Okay, so this, okay. I hate when products actually work and I really don't want to like them. So as you notice, I don't tend to rub and blend, especially on this side, because I find that it takes off my foundation. So I tend to tap. So, I mean, that isn't bad. I do wish, like, why not throw a blush in here? Why these two and not a blush make it a full face palette is beyond me. Okay, so the eye look is kind of growing on me. I did do some extra to it. Um, I put in a bit of a deeper brown into it. Um, so I did use the deep amethyst. I did kind of bring it up and then kind of did that. Now you can see that the glitter is getting everywhere. It's not necessarily so much the product. It is my hooded eyes, but like this, this, product may not be for me and as you can see I I took that middle brown and I used it up here and I did bring it down now I did go under the bottom here with the same brown and I will show you the brown that I'm talking about because like really there's like four browns in here so I did take this one and I did go under with like just a little I want to call it like a little lip brush like this brush here so I just kind of went like this and it just kind of gives it 
a dimension. I'm sure you can see that. Then um, I kind of took something like this brush. No, maybe not this brush, but it doesn't matter. And I used this here. And I just darkened this up. And you can see, like, there is pigment to this. Definitely. That black, though, it just isn't agreeing with my skin, unfortunately. I found that it was really hard to work with, but I did look up some of the reviews and some other people were having some issues with it. But I will say that this, this is nice. Okay, you won me over on that. I did find the Wayne Gosh brush, Wayne Goss brush. I just want to add the, like the, the sparkles to my, see there's some sparkles there. Okay, um, I'm going to go in with my favorite blush. Okay, so I just stepped off the camera to quickly do my blush with the doll 10. I'm actually going to grab this and do the highlighter with it. I'm going to use the Wayne Gosh brush. I also use the setting powder from here as well. We did not pull out this peek in. Let's pull out this peek in. I'm not actually going to try it on because I don't think I'll like it and I'll likely put it in a giveaway. I did get it for free. It looks like it's full size, which is kind of cool, but yeah, it's definitely a rich. It does look pink on that camera, but it isn't. It is a brown. So I'm going to put that in a giveaway. Let's try this cashew. Okay, guys, this is the lipstick. I chose the Bay Light Fair. Maybe now I should have chose something like medium. Because I find that this is just boring. Okay, so... This is the look I created. Um, it is a nice look. I'm not going to lie. It isn't bad. Um, for the amount of money I did spend, I'm not impressed. Um, I don't know. Um, there's nothing really to write home. The, the new color, the color that I did put in my eye there, didn't really stay. It has already washed out. Um... Uh, the sparkles are everywhere. That last color has a lot of sparkles in it, which is nice, but um, it's just not... It's not something you want for $66 Canadian or $77 Canadian, sorry. I find that it's very lacklusting. It's not the greatest. The lip gloss is nice, but... It's not as nice as my other lip glosses. Why does it taste good? And I'm not talking just Jeffree Star. There's other lip glosses. Like even Pat McGrath has a really nice one. So. Hmm. I don't know. I do. I will say that this is kind of nice. I will give them that. Um, I didn't obviously put a whole lot on. I don't need to. You can just gently see the lines there, which is nice. Um, I did put some of the bronzer on the outside of my face, so that is nice. Um, what this this box could have used is a brush. Instead of three lip pencils, why not throw in a brush and a lip pencil or, um, you know, something like that. That would have been nice. That would have been, you know, or a mascara. Just saying, $132 is a lot to spend and not get anything that is really... Like, oh my gosh, I'm um, very disappointed. This is not how a mystery bag should work. Okay, I'm actually going to try this candy ass on. I'll be right back. Okay, I love this lipstick, but it doesn't go with this eye look. <laughs> Serious? And then party. Serious? <laughs> okay, guys, I have gone completely delusional. I will likely keep the purple eyeliner just because it's a deep amethyst eyeliner. The eyeliner went on really, really well. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. You can still grab this bag in case my opinions don't reflect yours and you actually do like this look, you do like the palette, it is still available. I'm not saying you should rush out and grab it, but it is available. And when you spend that much money, it is actually FedEx to you for the most part. But um, yeah, I really, really wanted to like this. Until the next video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day. Please don't forget to give this video a like, give it a share and make sure you're subscribed.